Hi, I'm Thomas Lucas, and I work for Rogers O'Brien Construction, and I'm your superintendent for the new T.A. Brown Elementary School. So today we're going to talk about cold form metal framing, which is the metal framing that consists of the exterior walls and the interior walls. It's what the sheetrock and the exterior sheeting connect to. Now before we go too much further, I'm going to use terms like top track, bottom track, and stud. The top and bottom track are merely the pieces that are attached to the top of the wall and the bottom of the wall, and it's what the stud sits inside of. The track pieces are a very square C-shape. Bottom track faces up and the top track faces down. And the stud is a lot like a wood stud that you would see houses being framed out of. It's the vertical piece that connects the top and bottom of the wall together. But all of this is made out of metal. So first things first, you've got to do the layout. In order to do the layout, you have to consult the plans. The plans are gonna give you information like the thickness of the wall, where the wall goes, the size of the room, how long does the wall run, does the wall run all the way up to the top of the structure or does it stop just above the ceiling. So the foreman's going to take all of that information and begin applying it directly to the concrete slab. He's going to take his measurements, he's going to mark it out on the concrete, all the different measurements are going to create a great big dotted line that he's going to connect using a chalk box which is just string that runs through broken up chalk. They put it on the ground, pull it tight, and pop the line, and now all of the different points have created a line. And they mark out if there's a door within that wall, if there's a window, what height that window's at, and starts putting all this information down on the ground so that when the crew shows up, they start installing the bottom track on top of that line. So once all the information has been installed on the ground, then the crew's gonna come back and they're gonna use a laser level laser level is a small piece of equipment about the size, a little bit bigger than the size of your hand, and it sets on the ground. These laser levels have dots that point down to the ground, so you can line it up on top of the chalk line that's been popped, and it will take that line where you've marked with the laser, and it will project another dot on the ceiling. So now you've transferred all the information that is on the floor up to the ceiling. So once all the information is laid out, then the material actually starts going down. Now what's great about light gauge framing is that it's light. You can pick up multiple pieces at a time, it's easy to handle, and it's easy to install. When you make a cut and you have a drop piece, the, the excess that's left over, when you make it with metal, then that stuff goes into a pile and you can recycle it. And when you take it to the recycler, then they can reuse it somewhere else. When you make a cut with wood, if that piece is too short that you can't use anywhere else, then it just goes into the trash that goes to the landfill. So by using metal stud and recycling the trash pieces that we don't need, it just enables us to become more environmentally conscious 